is happening, Fringe Fam? Today, you're gonna learn the difference between iron and rubber plates and when to use each type of plate on your bar. But before we talk about that, I wanna invite you to join me in our private Facebook group. It's called Garage Gym Revolution, where you will find positivity and a community of support for you in building your awesome garage gym. Also, one other thing, follow us on Instagram, at Fringe Sport. All right, let's dive in. All right, iron versus rubber. What's the difference? You're gonna see people all over the internet making fun of people who use bumper plates or saying that iron is the only way to go, and I'm gonna break it down for you exactly what's going on. So first of all, the biggest difference between iron and rubber plates is that iron plates tend to be cheaper. Yes, there are a ton of different kinds of iron plates. Some of them are super expensive, but on the whole, iron plates tend to be cheaper. And this is a 10 pound iron plate. This is a 10 pound rubber plate. They both weigh 10 pounds. So if you're on a budget, don't feel bad about going for iron. They both weigh the same amount and they're gonna help you get your gains. Okay, let's move on to number two. The second difference between iron and rubber plates, and you can see it right here. This is a 10 pound iron plate. It's not as big as my head. This is a 10 pound rubber plate. It's quite a bit bigger than my head. There's a reason for this. All rubber bumper plates are the same diameter. Iron plates vary in diameter. The reason for this is that rubber bumper plates are designed to fit on the bar and hold the bar at the proper height for a deadlift or the starting position for the snatch or clean and jerk. Iron plates are quite a bit less used in those movements, so they vary in their width. So, a rubber bumper plate is gonna hold that bar at the appropriate height off the floor for the starting position of the deadlift, snatch, and clean and jerk. Moving on to the number three difference between iron and rubber plates. And this one you can't see so well with the two that I've got here, but iron plates tend to be thinner on the bar. So they tend to be preferred by power lifters who are moving massive weights. Rubber plates are made out of rubber, which is a less dense material, so they tend to be thicker on the bar. So if you're, let's say, a man who is going for a massive deadlift, you might wanna stick with iron because you're gonna be able to load much more plates on the bar and get that much closer to where you're going. The number four difference to choose between iron and rubber plates is that rubber plates tend to be much more quiet on the bar. And if you're building a garage gym, or even if you're lifting in a commercial gym, you're not gonna hear that iron clatter of clank when you put it down on the ground. By the way, I love that sound. But you know who doesn't love that sound? My wife and my kids! So when I'm at home, I tend to be lifting on rubber because it's much more quiet. The number five difference between iron and rubber plates is that rubber plates are designed to be dropped. Iron plates are not. So whether you've got a concrete floor, whether you've got a drop pad, whether you've got some rubber on the floor, it's not gonna be a great idea to drop these iron plates on the floor. They might damage the floor, they might damage the bar. Heck, they might even damage themselves. I've seen iron plates crack before. However, rubber bumper plates are absolutely designed to be dropped. So that's why you might wanna go down to the floor. Now I'm gonna wrap it all up for number six, which is the sixth difference, and my reason to go with rubber, generally, over iron plates. And that is that rubber plates can do everything that iron plates can do, but iron plates cannot do everything that rubber bumper plates can do. So if you've got the room in your budget and space in your garage gym or commercial gym for rubber bumper plates, I would encourage you to go for rubber bumper plates over iron because you get all of the benefits, everything that iron can do, but then you get a little bit extra 
in terms of rubber bumper plates. So for my money and for my space in my gym, it's usually rubber bumper plates. Cool, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And as a quick reminder, find us at Garage Gym Revolution on Facebook or at Fringe Sport on Instagram. This has been Peter and I want you to lift heavy, lift happy,